What's up guys? I'm your rabbit. So today, you guys know that I've been using my Fanatec V3s for a very long time. They're uh, seen some better days and well, that's about to change because Camus has sent over some of their new LC100 pedals. So we're going to take a look at those today, get them on the rig, give you guys my impressions. So let's uh let's dive into this. So before we fully get started, a massive thank you to Camus for sending these out to me to uh, give you guys my impressions and get them on the rig and get a different set of pedals on the bottom of my chassis. So we're going to just dive right into this. We're going to get these pedals opened up. Flip the box over. This thing's pretty heavy, so very curious as I'm knocking stuff off my desk. Very curious what these are actually going to look like as I knock the camera over. And I have my microphone. That's fine. Everything is fine. All right, so let's uh, tuck this underneath my top monitor so it doesn't flip out. So we're going to get into this box and see what we're really looking at with these Camus pedals. So, of course, we have, you know, the instruction manual, the LC100s. And then we have to exchange for your free prizes. Um, not sure what all this is, but we're going to look into that. Of course, we got some uh, nice Camus stickers on there. And then we get into the nitty gritty of the pedals. Of course, we do have, it looks like some wiring and stuff like that. Looks like Camus, you know, USB 3.0s and other plugins. Put those to the side. Then all the mounting hardware and all the goodies to get this thing mounted up. And then we do have. It's like the control box for the pedals because the pedals are all separate. It's nice aircraft grade aluminum. Looks like you have the plugins, probably plug into the wheelbase or straight to the PC. Then you have, of course, the clutch brake and throttle uh, parts where you're going to be plugging in those pedals. And the pedals. So. With that there, we're going to take a look at the pedals that we can currently see and have. So we do, looks like we have two pedals. Oh, geez. Oh, man. These things are beefy. This is like really thick, nice metal. So this appears to be the throttle pedal because it's got a very, not as tight spring. Oh man, that's going <laughs> to... That's going to feel interesting. And of course we do have, looks like an adjustment for throw on how much like actual throttle play we want to do so we're gonna to have to go ahead and you'll loosen it up adjust that probably adjust the angle of it and move stuff around to get some more throw if we want so we do have that and then i believe this is probably going to be the clutch pedal or vice versa this might be throttle pedal too no nope, this is definitely the clutch that's way stiffer so once again same quality nice you know easy to plug in connectors very nice great quality metal and these uh these pedals are pretty pretty solid i do like all the you know little bits of it nice you can mount this to any type of base but of course it does come with the base i believe underneath this now this is the pedal that uh, i definitely really want to look at and that is the brake pedal because a lot of brake pedals don't have good you know a lot of dampening or you gotta add dampening and stuff like that so this brake pedal in this lc 100 kit you can see has a lot so it has a hundred kilogram load cell which that's definitely awesome for a full load cell brake pedal and we have of course adjustable spring and we also have a dampener up here which we do have let's well, just rotating the whole thing gotta tighten that up we do have a damper right there. yep we do have a nice damper that we can adjust our dampening for the brake pedal and everything like that so these are some solid pedals and a big thank you again to Camus for sending these out to me so I believe underneath this let's get the pedals pulled out of the way we do we have the really big and thick and beefy this thing is really beefy and thick this is a giant massive plate we do have a really large mounting plate 
nice canvas on there to mount all of our pedals and everything and mount this to say our next level chassis so we're gonna go ahead and get the pedals mounted onto this jesus as i'm knocking everything over with that we get the pedals mounted onto this and then we're gonna get our fan attacks off kind of position them on the rig and see where we're at all right so we did go ahead and get them mounted onto the next level racing chassis and you really need to dust my chassis so we got the clutch pedal brake pedal and gas all hooked up we just have the box on the back side right now i did not mount that yet but we're gonna go full send and give these things a test in a set of corsa and see uh what kind of uh action we can get with these pedals so we are here on tail of the dragon ordeals gap and we're gonna go full send we got everything all hooked up gas brake and clutch feels quite nice do got to do some adjustments of the brake pedal because i do feel like it's a little bit on the uh, short side, so I want to see if I can get some more throw out of it. So I may have to adjust that upper damper to see if I can get a little more brake throw because I wish the pedal did move a little bit more, but something that I can adjust just like these two move a lot. So I'm going to see if I can adjust that a little bit, but we're going to go full send. This is the first time I've had a pedal that had some sort of... Uh, damper on it like this oh yeah it feels different oh man that really feels different the clutch feels super nice to be able to have that oh that damper i think i have it dialed on i think two it gives that like if you hit it really fast it gets almost like a yeah almost like a huge dead spot but if you go slow it's nice so that is uh, definitely something that i need to get used to because I've never had that type of pedal feel before. But it will be nice for racing, for drifting. I may need to adjust how this actually reacts. Like I said, I wish I could get a little more pedal, pedal throw out of it. So it's something I need to look into. But first impressions of the pedal, these things are massively beefy i do like the adjustability with the shocks and everything like that and able to yeah see that dampers definitely uh need some fine adjustment on that damper so let's see if we're gonna make sure i don't get my wheel to freak out let's see if we can't come over top here Dial that damper back some. Okay, that feels a little bit better. So yeah, we it's definitely something that I need to get used to. Shadow Rev S14 killing it here on Tail of the Dragon. So definitely uh, different when it comes to the left foot braking feel. The clutch is definitely super nice. And the accelerator is a lot stiffer than I'm used to, which is nice because it gives me a better response to be able to uh, do a lot of a adjustment. Ooh! <laughs> A lot of adjustment in my throttle placement. So once again, a big thank you to Camus for sending these LC 100s out to me to give them a shot. Definitely uh, gonna do some fine tuning. Yep, see right there, a lot of break. Some fine tuning with it and take it on the track for racing and stuff like that as well. But for first impressions of the pedal and overall feel, these pedals are very, very nice quality. Though my only uh, thing is if I wish I could get a little more dirt, a little more brake throw, but that's just something I need to look at, seeing if I can maybe extend that damper because right now I'm at full brake. I'm hitting that uh, the end or the inside of the damper. So I need to see if I can elongate the 
shaft on the damper or maybe adjust the positioning of it. Give myself a little more braking throw because I feel like I'm hitting the brakes not as much as I'm used to and it's almost full brake right away. So it's definitely a bit of a bit of a change that I'm gonna have to fine-tune or get used to. But that's just like any type of pedals you go into new hardware or anything like that. It's definitely a learning curve, but the clutch, I do like how stiff the clutch is and I like the feel of the accelerator that I have set. And I kind of have them, I think the springs uh, turned all the way down. Setup of this was super easy once you know you got them plugged in, all you really had to do is pair them up, make sure you have the canvas software on. And it, you can see it's working seamlessly with my other uh, my other components, such as my oh <laughs> my Moza wheelbase and shifter and handbrake. So it's not having any issue running both grinding gears, both software. So that's definitely a plus. Oh, and just using straight USB to it is super nice. Definitely a much different feel than my Fantax see right there. Too much break. I gotta get used to it. So, first impressions of the Camus uh, LC100. Definitely a very solid pedal set. Gonna be doing some more videos with them, you know, getting used to them and things like that. So, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll check the description box below. Oh, dirt drop. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.